hello good morning happy morning i'm having a happy morning today and i just wanted to record it and i just want to talk about why i'm happy this morning um <laughs> really there's no particular big reason nothing happened but i just woke up this morning and i was just like wow i'm happy this morning and i'm just feeling happy and that i think is because i don't have to go to work <laughs> partly but i'm just happy also because i just realized that you know i need to be grateful for everything in life and i'm happy also because i get to live among plants like i wake up in the morning and i get to go water my plants um they're responding to care um uh, they're responding to my watering them and to my fertilizing them like they're green and happy and it makes me happy i think that's the source of my happiness i'm not sure but i think that's part of it and i think i'm also happy that i get to listen to beautiful music by Enya. and i'm happy also just i don't know i'm just just happy this morning and another thing that makes me happy is knowing Knowing that God is with me or just knowing that he, he is like seeing through my eyes. Like I just really believe that he's in me and around me. And that also makes me happy because when I used to honestly say like when people used to tell me like God is with you or God is listening. I used to honestly think that people said that just to console themselves so they won't feel bad about a difficult situation and I always heard God is with you when I was going through something difficult or when something bad happens that's when I would hear I, I never heard God is with you when you're going through something really great or you know if you're perfectly fine you never heard God is with you but God is with you all the time through your good and bad times and that is really really true and what has solidified that belief for me is also watching like ND NDEs I really truly say that to myself and i know it and i don't just say it because i i um i'm hopeful or because i'm saying it from a place of hope i'm saying it from a place of actually knowing like i actually like say things to god like he's here like i talk to him like he's here and even though i don't hear back from him it's fine because i know that he is actually there and i now act more consciously and i'm just more aware of my thoughts almost even though i can't always control all my thoughts but i'm just choosing to be with the light more i know that the light and the devil is in all of us light and darkness is in all of us but i'm wanting to align more with the light i want to align with god and i know the devil is tricky and he can come in so many ways and try to trick you even be a full light he will do anything but as long as you choose kindness and love i think that that should be you know the most important thing i think i don't know but being kind to others and treating others like you like you would want them to treat you i think that's the way to go in this life and i think aside from that we shouldn't worry too much because just honestly just do your best to be the best version of yourself because we weren't born with like a manual of how to live completely the bible is there but i feel like the biggest commandment is to love others and treat them like you want them to treat you you know love everybody genuinely love everyone and and yeah and review your your life at the end of the the day like do a life review or a day review of your life like i don't know i was talking about being happy this morning and now i'm all over the place but last night after watching an an nte episode i decided to review my day yesterday yesterday and I feel like the one main thing that I did, it wasn't really mean, but um, I was running late for work and somebody asked me to buy them lunch and I was like, I'm running late right now, you know, that's the only thing, like, I don't know if I was, in those instances, it's like, am I supposed to stop going to work and buy this person food and be late for work? I don't think so. And I wasn't carrying cash on me because we live in times when people are increasingly moving around cashless, you know? And then it's like you have to stop and, and be like if i wasn't running late would i have bought this person food i think i would have i think so but the other day i was like a couple of days before that i was in the store and somebody came to me who seemed like she was homeless and i was checking out buying my food and she asked me to buy her something and i was so shy <laughs> and i was like 
like that you know and i feel bad for that day and i just have decided that next time if i if i have time and i have the money on me if somebody asks me for food i'm definitely there's no reason to not buy them something you know I, it would have been better if i gave that woman my plate of food and be like i will start back all, all over you know so that's the one thing that i'm going to do better next time you know it's when somebody actually comes to you like you know yeah that's one thing that you know i wish i could have done better after i left the store i was at the panda express after i left the panda express i went outside to look for her to see if she was going to be outside because i was sure inside the store and if i'd seen her outside i would have bought her food i think so you know i was looking for her to try and make up for like being like giving her a cold sho shoulder in the panda express and it's very easy to hide behind my shyness and be like oh i was just feeling so shy but that person's hunger and your shyness doesn't have much to do with one another you know like when somebody's really hungry like forget your shyness like put yourself in their place like somebody is starving and they have to overcome their the comfort of their shyness you don't know if that person also is shy like they over came their shyness to come to you to ask for food and you were like you know yeah so that wasn't very nice so i'm definitely gonna do better for sure like god send me more more hungry pe people and i promise if i have the time like i'm not running late for work and i have the money on me i will always feed a hungry person from now henceforth like no more excuses i have to do better than that anyway so my day is still going great and I'm still having a great day. I'm listening to music and I'm listening to some of my best relaxing music. And I'm about to have breakfast, make my favorite breakfast, which is egg made with vegetables. It's like eggs and you know, lots of vegetables, a little spicy, seasoned to perfection and made hot enough, but not too hot. And with green vegetables and like, you know, all the vegetables i love to put lots of vegetables in my eggs so yeah that's what we're gonna do this morning anyway so talk to you later